Frequently asked question number 15 is tap water safe for succulents? Uh, now a lot of questions do come in for me. Uh, what type of water should we use for succulents or for any plants? Now guys for most plants and succulents the best type of water to use is rainwater or distilled water. Now you can see I tend to collect a lot of rainwater uh, be it in my aquatic plants or my regular uh, pots that I collect the rainwater. I uh, usually you tend to use old water for my succulents. Now when I say old water I basically let the water sit in a container for at least 24 hours or overnight uh, the reason is because uh, my tap water in my city uh, the tap water contains a high amount of chlorine so uh, basically that uh, amount of chlorine is not going to be very well for a lot of our house plants including succulents so what I usually tend to do is I let the water sit for 24 hours or overnight now what happens is chlorine is lighter than water so what happens over the period of time the chlorine tends to get evaporated quickly from the water and the next day the water is fresh and can be used for your plants including your foliage plants as well as your house plant now this process i tend to do it during winters and uh, during the summers because uh, there is no rain water at that point of time but when we have the rainy season that is uh, that lasts approximately five to six months in a year i tend to use these pots to collect that rain water or in other seasons, I just uh, let them sit, let the water sit in this for 24 hours. And once all the chlorine, uh, it just takes a couple of hours for the chlorine to get evaporated from the water and then the water is fresh. Another issue with tap water using direct tap water is that it contains a lot of uh, minerals, uh, especially minerals like magnesium or calcium. And over the period of time, when you continuously tend to use that tap water, uh, those minerals tend to build up on the upper layer of soil. At times, you might also see white spots on the succulent leaves in case if that water has dropped on the leaves you might see that mineral build up on the leaves uh, as well as on the soil a lot of times you might also see it on your pots uh, especially terracotta pots it's much more visible because those pots are light brown in color so you might have seen the mineral build up on the pots on the soil so this happens when you tend to use the direct tap water so the best part what you can do is or the safest way is either let the water sit in any container overnight and then the next day you can use that or you can use rainwater or you can use distilled water drinking water whichever is possible you can use it for your succulents in order to grow healthy now drinking water is not going to be an option for me to water my succulents because I have a lot of succulents and I usually bring uh, the water cans uh, for drinking. If I'm going to use that, that is going to be very expensive. So this tends to work out really well, either collect the rainwater during the rainy season. Uh, and during this uh, rainy season, I tend to completely stop the old water process because rainwater is free. I collect it. It works out really well for the succulents and when it's the non-monsoon season, I tend to use old water. But I avoid using direct tap water unless it's an emergency and I was not able to collect that water then I might use it but majority let's say 90% of the time I tend to use old water or I tend to use water from my uh, uh, this pot pond wherein I have my aquatic plants the water is uh, very old in this so every time when I tend to clean the water let me show you to you so every few days when the water is being changed like I change around 25% of the water from this so whatever waste water I tend to use it for my plants because uh, it tends to work out like old water so this is the uh, small little pot pond that I tend to make for my floating plants and uh, when I have this now in this pot there are some fishes I haven't added any fishes in this there are some fishes in this this pot contains uh, some water lilies so uh, every uh, let's say every five days i tend to change the water like 25 percent of the water is changed from both the pots so when i accumulate that water from these pots i tend to use them for my succulents or for my foliage plants so i always have a good amount of water that has been collected be it this pot or be it, this was the rain water uh, you can see there's a lot of dirt in this this was the rain water this is the tap water and this is all of the rain water that tends to get collected in this and as and when at times when there is a lot of rain it starts to overflow so before it's about to rain I almost empty 50% of the water from this and that water I use it for my plants so in this way it tends to work out really well I do not have any issues also uh, this water because it has fish it has a little bit of nutrients and that also tends to work out really well for my plants uh, now there are not a lot of fishes in this there is hardly uh, 
one or two fishes in this so they do not uh, create a lot of waste because they are better fish they do not uh, uh, you know create a lot of waste in the water so the water is pretty clean it's old and it has a little bit of nutrients in the water which i at times tend to use it for my succulents most of the time this water is being used for my foliage plants because they require more watering compared to my succulents so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button and thank you so much for watching